Hello, today we will solve this simple numeric which is based on Lorentz transformation and Galilean transformation of velocity. The numerical is a ship is moving away from the earth at a speed of 0 0.80 c. When it fires a missile parallel to the direction of motion of the ship, the missile moves at a speed of 0 0.60 c relative to the ship. What would be the speed of the missile as measured by an observer on the earth compared with the prediction of Galilean kinematics? Let's suppose this is earth and this spaceship is moving away from the earth with a velocity of 0 0.80 c. It fires a missile with a speed of 0 0.60 c. We will measure the velocity of the missile with respect to stationary frame of reference earth using both Galilean transformation or Galilean kinematics and Lorentz transformation. The Galilean transformation is simple. According to Galilean transformation, the speed of the missile observed by a man standing on earth will be equal to v is equal to u, the velocity of the spaceship plus the velocity of the missile. We are dealing with this problem in one dimensional along the x axis. When we are dealing with the real time example, then we will include the x, y, and z dimension. But here we are dealing only with the x dimension. Our numerical is based on one dimension. So, the velocity of the missile observed at Earth will be equal to V is equal to U velocity of the spaceship plus V prime velocity of the missile relative to the spaceship. Now, we know the velocity of the spaceship is 0 0.80 c and the velocity of the missile is 0 0.60 c. Now, keep in mind this sign is positive because the spaceship and the missile both are moving away from the earth. If the missile was fired toward the earth, then we will minus this 0 0.60 from 0 0.80. But now in this numerical, both the missile and the spaceship are moving away from the earth. So we will add both of these velocities. So the velocity of the missile observed from the earth will be equal to 1.4 c or 1.4 time velocity of speed of light. So this is invalid because this 1.4 c surpasses the velocity of the speed of light and according to Einstein we know that uh, we cannot surpass the velocity of the speed of light. So we will use Lorentz transformation to this uh, numerical. Uh, these are some equations of Lorentz transformation for displacement and Lorentz transformation for time. But here in this equation we will use the inverse Lorentz transformation. The only difference is this minus sign which is moving toward and moving away. So we will use inverse Lorentz transformation to solve this numerical. According to inverse Lorentz transformation, the displacement observed at the earth x will be equal to gamma. Gamma is a relativistic factor which is 1 over under root 1 minus v square divided by c square gamma times x prime plus ut prime x prime and t prime is the displacement and time observed on the spaceship of the uh, missile. Similarly for time, the time observed on earth will be equal to t is equal to gamma time t prime plus u x prime divided by c square. Similarly here t prime and x prime are the displacement and time observed at the spaceship and u is the velocity of the spaceship. We will combine these two equations to form a new equation for the velocity transformation. Now we have two equations. One is 
for Lorentz displacement transformation and the second is for Lorentz time transformation. We know that velocity v is equal to x divided by t or displacement divided by time. And according to Lorentz transformation, we know the displacement x is equal to gamma time x prime plus u t prime. And the time t is equal to gamma into t prime plus u x prime divided by c square. Now we will substitute the values for x and t in this simple velocity equation. Substituting the values for displacement x and time t we will get gamma into x prime plus u t prime divided by gamma into t prime plus u x prime divided by c prime. Now this gamma relativistic factor will cancel with this gamma. Now we will take the t prime common from the nominator as well as from the denominator of this equation. Taking t prime common from the nominator we will get x prime divided by t prime plus u. And taking the t prime common from the denominator we will get 1 plus u x prime divided by c square into t prime. Now this time this t prime will cancel with this t prime. And we know that displacement divided by time is equal to velocity. So we will get v prime plus u divided by 1 plus this x prime by t prime is equal to v prime. So 1 plus u into v prime divided by c square. Now we have a new equation for the velocity transformation using the Lorentz velocity transformation. We will use this Lorentz velocity transformation equation to determine the velocity of the missile fired from the spaceship. So for our previous discussion it is clear that we cannot use classical mechanics to solve this kind of numerical. Now we have v is the velocity we are looking for, u is the velocity of the spaceship which is 0 0.80 c and v prime is the velocity of the missile relative to the spaceship which is 0 0.60 c. Now we will substitute the values in this equation which we have de determined and this is Lorentz transformation equation. So the velocity v we are looking for is equal to v prime plus u divided by 1 plus v prime u divided by c square. So v prime is 0 0.60 and u is 0 0.80 c. Substituting the values in this equation and solving we will get v is equal to 0 0.60 c plus 0 0.80 c which is equal to 1.40 c divided by 1 plus 0 0.60 c into 0 0.8 c. Now this c square will cancel with this c and this c. By multiplying these two c we will get c square both are speed of light and this c square will cancel with this c square. So 0 0.6 multiplied by 0 0.8 we will get 0.48 and 1 plus 0.48 we will get 1.48. Now 1.40 c divided by 1.48 we will get 0 0.9 c or the velocity observed from the earth will be equal to 0 0.95 c according to the Lorentz transformation and the velocity of the missile from the earth will be equal to 1.4 c according to the Galilean transformation. So the Galilean transformation is not valid because it surpasses the speed of light but Lorentz transformation is valid because uh, here you can see this is 0 0.9 c for 95 c which is less than the speed of light and is valid. The Galilean transformation is valid only for the inertial frame of reference. Here we are dealing with relative with non-inertial frame of reference are with relativity. In relativity we use the Lorentz transformation equations. 
that's it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe easy video for more videos thank you